Hello everyone, my name is Oof Turkey and welcome to Dynasty Simulator. Today we will be revealing uh, Kaiju skins, and forgive me if there's uh, lag, because in this drawing tablet it cannot load everything, and if I just load the entire max graphics card, then it will just crash and I cannot get any footage from it, so hope you understand that, but today we will be revealing all the Kaiju skins, what capabilities do they have, and what's the purpose of ha uh, playing around with them. The first one is Kaiju Spyosaurus. This reminds you of Godzilla. You can definitely tell of the uh, the roars, uh, the the look. It looks like a Kaiju Spino. Just to be real, to be honest with you. And Godzilla from uh, uh, the first Godzilla movie and a couple Godzilla movies I cannot even describe or remember. The G roar was pretty epic. Now we do the bigger roar. Norwar is pretty awesome. Now we do the uh, the, uh, the A A the A E O no A A O E attack. By the way, it's range. If anyone's near you, you take damage around everyone that's near you. This thing is good for war purposes. I recommend using it if you're doing wars and stuff. Other than that, uh, let's go for another kaiju skin. Kaiju Modo. Uh, this is, uh, the flying bird from the first Godzilla movie, or was it the third? I swear, there's a lot of movies I didn't watch, but this thing, uh, it flies, it makes noises and stuff. And it's good for PvP purposes, too, but... In the old days for uh, Dice Similar, there used to be a blocky not remodeled, and it could fucking range everything. It can e even range a goddamn ball without getting hit. That's how OP it was. And that was its uh, C war, a growl, and the normal war. Uh, this is the AoE. Well, a male flying, but. He's actually really cool. I like using this thing if we're going to fly, because uh, if people see this, they'll go, Oh shit, there's a giant bag-ass bird. I gotta run away. <laughs> I gotta run you away, you know? There's a big giant-ass bird. It's going to end my life. Anyway, let's go for the next uh, kaiju. Okay, uh, another kaiju. The Kaiju Sora Posedon. Or, if that's the name, then forgive me. I do not... I cannot pronounce this name. It's a sorrow, though, for crying out loud, but at least give me some, uh, perspective, and sorry about that, but, alright, let's just, let's just, uh, uh, go get along with this. Uh, it has a seawar. It reminds me of King Gathora a lot. Now, the growl. Now, the normal war. This thing is very useful, however, if you're good range mobbed, but it is really safe if you get hit by a bird and you just bleed, because you do bleed as this thing when you're flying around, and it's so easily uh, exploitable that you'll die. It's not recommended going for. Anyway, let's go for the other, uh, other, uh, Oh wow, I'm on the mountains. Uh, the, this thing looks like a fucking elephant. Uh, this recently got remodeled also. This is a very, very smooth model, and I in fact really like it. It does have disappointing downsides though, that, uh... No, I say there's no disappointing downsides. Uh, this thing can actually autom automate, uh, auto farm DNA for you. If you have a lava clicker or whatever, you could say there's no thirst on this thing because uh, you don't need to drink water. You can even swim infinitely. By the way, I'll show you right away. I just need to get over here because I'm fat and stupid. Uh, the rars for it? It sounds like an elephant. I didn't mean to shit an egg. Yeah, see, it's definitely an elephant. Anyway, I'll show you how it swims. Looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so look, I can't even die, so I could just sit here eating 
uh, a corpse all day. And the best part is, it's an herbivore. Who wants to refuse an herbivore, right? <laughs>